This is problem number four for section 2.2. In this problem, they ask us to find the limit of the function root 10 plus x, or 10h plus 1, minus 1 over h. Now, again, we're going to check to see, is this thing defined, so is this function defined at h equals 0? When I plug 0 in here, I can see right away that I am going to be dividing by 0, so 0 is not defined here. So this is different than the previous two problems. I cannot just plug in 0 to find the limit. What I need to do is <clears throat> I need to manipulate this expression so that we end up with a, a domain that does not include, or a domain, a domain that includes 0. So essentially I need to get rid of this h value in the denominator, because if I get rid of the h in the denominator, then I can actually uh, plug 0 in and find out what my limit is. So how can I do that? Well, whenever I see a root on top, and then I also see that it's two terms, right? So it's root of this minus 1. The first thing I think is multiply by the conjugate. That doesn't always work, but I really like to try to do that because it works quite often. So I'm going to multiply by root of 10h plus 1 plus 1 over root 10h plus 1 plus 1. Now this is just by multiplying by 1 essentially because I'm multiplying by a fraction that's the same on the top and the bottom. So I'm multiplying by 1. But it allows me to go ahead and simplify this top and get rid of the radicals. So when I multiply this radical 10h plus 1 times radical 10h plus 1, right, I've got to distribute this to each term and then distribute the negative 1 to each term. When I multiply those two, I just get 10h plus 1. When I multiply this times the positive 1, I get plus root 10h plus 1. When I multiply the negative times this, I get minus root 10h plus 1. And then negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. And that's all over. On the bottom, I'm not going to distribute this because I'm trying to cancel the h. So I want to just leave that as h root 10h plus 1 plus 1. So I can cancel this if I get a chance. This equals limit as h approaches 0. I can cancel here cancel the 1 and the negative 1, and I'm left with 10h over h root 10h plus 1 plus 1. Well, you can see that the h's are going to cancel there, and I'm left with limit as h approaches 0 of 10 over root 10h h plus 1 plus 1. Now I'm actually going to plug the 0 in. I get 10 over root 10 times 0 plus 1 plus 1. And this will give me 10 over when I multiply this by 0, that's 0 plus 1, which is 1. So I get root 1 plus 1, so I end up with 10 over 1 plus 1, which is 2, and I end up with a limit of 5. So the limit as h approaches 0 of this function is equal to 5. And I used an algebraic manipulation to get rid of this h so that I could actually plug 0 in to find that out.